Ah. No, no, I've got my uh, my laptop. Ah, okay. I'm just walking down the corridor. Right. Thanks for my quiet for serving the open office. So, how are you? I'm good, mate. I wasn't expecting you'd be at your computer, but I just sent you the invite uh, so you could uh, get this later. But there you are. You're on there. Yeah, it was just on. I wasn't so yeah, it just started ringing, so I thought uh, let's go for it. Okay, mate. So um, let me just check. I understand your question correctly. You're, using, oh, yeah, you're setting yeah. up a Google site, and you're using Google Drive to create a slide presentation, and you want to embed that slide presentation into your Google site, and it's not showing. Is that right? Yeah, well, I had it last week. Yeah, because I tried um, the Google, I tried the Weebly, and I tried WordPress, but Google seemed to be the most. It was easier for me, just not being so IT savvy in there. So I started using it, but it's really restrictive. It's annoying at times, actually. But yeah. Oh, this is what you're using for the ePortfolio um, idea, right? Um, no, the Open Access Resource ePortfolio. I've not worked out how. I think what well, I'm going to get the guys. I think you've said ages ago. It's just used. Um, I think if they're going to be putting things they've used, they could just use the um, um, LinkedIn or something like that. True. Yeah. I mean, it's always good to have a site. Depends how serious you go with this. I mean, LinkedIn is one, but it's good to have your site a little bit the same as Moodle. Have all your resources out and then plug them into LinkedIn. Don't author them mm. natively, so to speak, into LinkedIn. I think for these guys, because they're just starting out, it's like um, in their sort of the quick care nurse. Like the nurses are already qualified nurses, but I think like most of their stuff's going to be doing bedside and things. So I think the most things is getting their CV and portfolio, and then as they progress and do things, I think they'll they'll start you know looking at some of the resources. But yeah, fair enough. It'd be good. I think uh, as far as you know, you're the only one I know in the faculty who might be taking that line of LinkedIn first and then building up from there. And I think it's. I think. Good. Yeah, uh, like for the like, I don't think it'll be anything to do with like the troll, but it'll just be for their like of what they use, like because they'll be finishing and some of them will continue on, but a lot of them just yeah. stop there. So then yeah. their like appraisals and all that sort of thing are in Pebble Pad. So it's mainly to make sure they're lot like they download all the information and. Store it on the personal computer or something, but okay. well, anyway, then next, can, yeah, separate sort of thing. The portfolio, but what you're doing is setting up a educational resources site for um, for the intensive care unit there. Let me let me just do a little screen recording. Uh, I show my screen. I mean, of what you're showing, what you're trying oh, to do. I did have it working last week. I uh, spoke to right. Grantham. And yeah. it was there, but then the the web page had a, you know like in the next to HTTPS on the, the padlock on the top on the URL, it yeah. come up with like it come up like with an alert. So I, like I I clearly had breached all copyright rules I think of how I'd set it up. So I took it down because and I realised that should that, I don't think that would have been an oh no what was I, I think it was because I'd hyperlinked it into the in the in the document in the Google Drive. Oh, um, and then it was saying, like, it, it kept saying something about, like, the, the website wasn't verified or something like that when I was looking into it. So, this, uh, this is the website you're talking about, Intensive Care? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And that white space down there is meant to be displaying. So, it did display. have it in, yeah, yeah. It had, like, just two images. Okay. Well, uh, the way I would do it. Just, just we're still probably checking if we're on the same page here, but if we look at uh, this is a Google site that I'm authoring. Yeah. Now, let's imagine I want to put a slide presentation down the bottom there, just underneath all of that text. Then what I'll do is I go to my drive, Google Drive, and just for the benefit of other viewers later, you can refine your search down to types of documents, and you go. If you know you've got a presentation in there, okay. you have presentations, and then you scroll down and find the presentation you're looking for. Here's the presentation I've been working on uh, half you know, six months ago. So what I want to do is I want to publish this to the web first, and it pops up this dialog box. And I do yeah. a few things like change the size. I'll probably go to 480, being small, things like that. But there's the embed code here. That's the bit that we want. 
Can you just uh, what? Oh, well, I'll just get a bit of pen and paper. I'll just run across the thing. <laughs> <laughs> but we're recording a video. <laughs> Now tell well, me, Paul, why do you need a pen and paper if we're recording a video? Oh shit, yeah. You've got to record them. <laughs> Old timer. Okay, so I'll go back through those steps again. Yeah, it can't be pen and paper as well. Here's my presentation in Google Drive. Just yep. a typical PowerPoint thing. Your file published to the web. All right. Yeah. Change the size of it. To, if you're going on the web, I, I think it's good to go 480, just to be okay. sure. Uh, now, but ultimately, the code you want is this embed code. Yeah, because that's what I've never seen when I did the um, the publish when I had the document. I never seen that embed code anywhere. It might have popped up with a warrant because this is already published to the web. This presentation, uh, there's a yeah, because that's there is a pop up saying, "Are you sure you want to publish this to the web?" Yeah, because um, originally I hadn't, and then I published. Then it, I read somewhere I went about ten different articles and things, and then eventually I found something that said you have to make sure it's public. To then, yeah, so then yeah. it's published. So I changed to the open access, and then it's still. And someone said like the, in the title of the HTTPS something it normally says some. Um, Letters to say like it's active and open, but yeah, all right. It could be that embed code then. Well, I think the you might have been getting tricked up on that first step that's not showing here. I wonder if I should stop publishing this and go through the steps. I might try that. Okay, let me just stop publishing it. It was when I was like developing it. It said like on that yeah, the top right, the share thing. Yeah, no, not share. You don't want to share. You want to go file, publish to the web. Okay, so here's the first dialogue that's popping up. Publish, start publishing. Yes, I want to start publishing. That's probably what it is. Okay. Now, All right. now we're at now we're at this box. Okay, so I think you might have clicked share rather than publish to the web. Yeah, I have. Okay, yeah, have a little look at this stuff. Automatic advanced presentation to the next slide every three seconds. Yeah. Or not. Start slideshow as soon as the player loads. Start slideshow after the last slide. Okay, they're just some. Strange yep. options there. All right, but like I said, we've changed it to the 480 size. Now we want this embed code. So that's Actually, what I've done. I've shared it. Man, where were you on Saturday morning at 1 in the morning? <laughs> well, okay, so I've copied that code there. Now let's just go through the motions. I'm sure you know what the rest is, but just, in, just for the other viewers and everything, we're back on our Google site. Put the cursor in the area that we want to put the presentation. Insert. HTML box. Um, I'm just hovering here because there's sometimes there's new items that make pop up here. Drive. I wonder what this is going to do. Well, there might be an easier way to do it this way. But the HTML box. There's the HTML box. Now I paste that code. Okay. All right, that code's gone in there. And removing disallowed attribute source. Oh, that's interesting. All right, oh. and we'll just save that. And then save the site, and let's just confirm or not whether that embed code worked. Uh, just wait, wait, wait. I just need to view it as a not a, not in editing mode. Did yeah. you that that uh, removing of image source code? Did that pop up for you as well? Um, I think I, t I shared instead of um, published. I think that okay. was what. I've I think but that's where I've none, gone wrong. None, nonetheless, it looks like I've hit a, a snag here too. Uh, so I'll go and edit that, see what's happening here. One to nine, removing disallowed attribute source on tag iframe. Yeah, I've not seen that before. Yeah, that's interesting. I haven't seen that before either. That HTML. HTTPS, just see if that makes any difference. This is all a bit, this shouldn't be this hard, but uh, we might try that other option. Okay, we'll save that. So we know that one looks like that one's not working, so now we'll go down to the next one. Go insert, but instead of, sorry, insert, but instead of HTML box, 
We'll select this drive because our slide presentation is sitting in the drive. Okay. Go to presentation. Now this should pop up my drive. Uh, yes, it has. This is looking promising. And now we'll get that same uh, same presentation that I was looking for before. Oh, well, I can't find it, but I'll go this one instead. Okay, now include border around Google presentation, include title, yeah, start slideshow as soon as, right, oh, whatever. Okay, this one looks like it's going to be working. So I'll delete this um, HTML box we put in before, select this and make it centered, save. All right, that's working. That's in there. Wow. Slide one, slide two, slide three. No worries. And a link to the original document and the title above it, which you could turn off if the first slide there. So, looks like the HTML one is not working anymore, which is something to look into. But um, drive. okay. Insert straight from the drive. Insert drive presentation. Select your presentation, and then it will come in. Yeah. Ah, that's correct. Okay. Take that out now. I'll Save. have a try. Okay. Have a crack at that. Um, all right. Let's get on with the 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 works. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll stop the broadcast now, Paul. Yep.